Hello, my name is Andrew Grant, and today I would like to share with you the many different ways of selecting, dragging, copying, and moving text within Mac OS X version 10.5. Many of us are familiar with selecting text by holding down the mouse and dragging to select a section of text, and then usually using copy or paste or cut to move text around. There are many other ways of selecting text than just this. For instance, we can double click any one word to select the entire word. We can triple click any paragraph to select the entire paragraph. By using the shift key, clicking anywhere to put your cursor there, holding down the shift and clicking again, you can select an entire section of text. You can also hold down the command key and use any combination of what we've mentioned so far, a double click, a triple click, a drag to select any sec to select multiple sections of text that are not necessarily connected. There are also ways of selecting text using just your keyboard. For instance, with our cursor here at the beginning of a paragraph, we can hold down the shift key and using the right or left arrows we can select or unselect one letter or one character at a time. We can use the option shift key to select an entire word at a time by using the left and right arrows. We can use the command key and the shift key. When I use command left arrow I go to the beginning of, a, of the line. Command shift right arrow moves to the end of the line and selects it. Holding down shift with any keyboard combination of the arrow and alt or command uh, will highlight that section. I can use the um, command shift down arrow to select the entire document from that point to the bottom or command shift up arrow to select everything from there on up. For instance, if I wanted to get this entire paragraph, I can hold command shift up arrow to get everything from the very top of the document down to that point. When dragging text, we get some interesting options here. For instance, I'm going to double click and select just this one word. Now if I hold my mouse down for two seconds and then begin dragging, you can see that the word appears to be coming with me. If I let go now, that word has been moved. So I've effectively dragged that selection, whether it was one word or an entire paragraph, from the document and moved it. I can do the same thing here by dragging again, holding down the mouse for a couple seconds and dragging, but this time I'm going to hold down the Option key, and you'll notice the mouse has a green ball with a white plus in the middle. This means that as long as my Option key is, is held down, when I release the mouse, I will make a copy of that selection rather than moving it. You'll notice the original selection is still right here, and I have a copy of it. Now this is very uh, similar to using the cut, copy, and paste uh, options in, uh, in most uh, word processing applications. But in this case, we're doing it without having to use our clipboard in our system. For some of you who like to, uh, to preserve your clipboard, copy something important that you have to paste a whole bunch of times, this is an interesting way to uh, copy and move items without actually using your clipboard. So again, we can combine any combination here of a double click, command double click and a drag and then hold our mouse down for two seconds and now while moving you can see the cursor appears on the text I can now move this or copy it. Now an interesting thing is when you copy multiple sections using the command key when you let go of the mouse still holding the option key to copy you'll notice it puts each one of those sections in its own paragraph so when you copy multiple sections, whether you're moving them or copying them, they will be placed in their own paragraph. Here's an example of holding down the command key and double clicking, command key and dragging. And now I'm going to hold down my mouse for a couple of seconds, let go of the command key, and drag these items right here between managing and applications. And you'll notice each one has its own paragraph but they've been removed from the original text. So whether you're copying, dragging and copying, or dragging and moving, when you have multiple selections that are not contiguous or not connected, using the command key, 
it will put each one of your selections in its own paragraph. So that's a little bit about selecting, dragging, copying, and moving text in Mac OS X version 10.5.